I will continue to work with the Northern Triangle countries, with Mexico, to help vulnerable populations as soon as possible. From Congress, I would ask for wall. We need wall. We need wall. Give us wall. On Capitol Hill today, Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen announced a new Trump administration policy that would keep many asylum seekers in Mexico while they wait for processing. House Democrats took umbrage with that, along with the administration's previous treatment of immigrants. The all-time record for lying in the face of all the evidence was a tweet you, Madam Secretary, sent out on June the 17th. And it says, we do not have a policy of separating families at the border, period. That's your Twitter account. That's what you put out. Yet you came here today to tell us exactly is your policy of separating families and children from their families. Another lie. That Congressman Luis Gutierrez, Democrat from Illinois, is leaving Congress after 26 years, and he joins me now. Um, what do you think about the, the new policy that is going to keep a lot of people near the border in Mexico, where many people say they will be exposed to tremendous danger? I expect that we will be in court promptly to ensure uh, that the asylum and refugee laws that are on the books are complied with by this administration. That's what I expect. Uh, I say... How cruel, how inhumane, um, as I called them out today. You know, they love to wear their religion and their Christianity on their sleeve or around their necks with crucifixes, and yet their policy is cruel and inhumane and really detrimental to women and children. And so, look, I expect to be going into court, Chris, and uh, look, here's what she's doing. You and I both know she's auditioning for Donald Trump so that she can keep her job. Right. Uh, we don't know if in the new year she's gonna have a job, so the president wants a wall. She has actually evolved in the wrong direction, and I guess like many people that work for this administration, she's not gonna leave with her reputation um, or her dignity intact. The, the, when she said wall today, which by the way, it's a weird style thing at DHS, they don't use definite or indefinite articles sure. in front of wall, it's just wall, the wall, a wall, the wall, wall. She, uh, she, she is pushing this now. The president insisted is going to shut down the government over it. Do your Republican colleagues realize the whole thing is a preposterous con? Um, I think many of them do, but I think that what they have done is they've set themselves in motion in a certain way, Chris, and uh, they've articulated some things to their base, and, and they can't find the way out That's of their right. own dilemma, right, that they've created for themselves. Look, when I met, uh, with uh, Mr. Kelly, the chief of staff, and I was sitting right next to him and he said, don't worry, the president has evolved. That was all campaign rhetoric. We're really not going to build a wall. It was very much publicized, mm -hmm. uh, these comments uh, of Mr. Kelly. So look, we all know that there are, it, the wall, will, it's not going to get built, right? Democrats aren't going to give them $5 billion. We're coming back. Here's what I expect to happen. I expect that tomorrow we don't have a resolution because it's kind of complicated in the Senate and their rules and the House and their rules. And unfortunately, hundreds of thousands of people are going to go with a Christmas without a paycheck, without a job. That's sad. That's also very unchristian of them uh, during the Christmas season, especially when all the members of Congress are going to get their pay and their health care. So I expect that's going to happen. Look, I think it's going to be kind of two to nothing. Nancy Pelosi, when she assumes the speakership of the House of Representatives, and says, next 60 minutes, let's reconvene after she gets um, uh, sworn in as speaker and let's reopen the government on January 3rd. So, I think, sadly, that is what... So you um, think you think it shuts behind. down. You think they're in, they painted themselves into such a corner over this wall. Yes. They basically shut down. Everyone leaves town, come back, and basically Nancy Pelosi passes the deal that they had anyway with the Senate and McConnell says, okay, and they, and they reopen the yeah. government? I think that's exactly what's going to happen because, uh, to the surprise of many, we have friendships, right? I mean, I have Republican friends, Republicans have Democratic friends. Unfortunately, you know, bipartisans in our friendship um, isn't usually something that's much talked about. I went to talk to them. They feel cornered. Uh, they feel trapped. Uh, many of them see this as simply a continuation of a decline of the Republican Party and their brand and their effectiveness in the next elections. Look. I kind of look at it this way, Chris. Hillary Clinton won by 3 million votes, and then now more than 7 million people last November voted Democrat than Republican. This is really headed in the wrong direction, mm -hmm. and the wall is something that's immoral and that the American people aren't demanding. They so the group that they have of voters are with them. 
and they don't yeah. expand their base with this. They they think it's so it's really a through the looking glass. They think the wall's a political winner. Yeah. Do they you, do think it's they do think it's a political winner from them. It's what Trump began with, right? It's what he's insisted. But think about it. They could have had this victory. If you recall, Chris. I remember the DACA deal. What? Remember the DACA they deal? They would not take then, yes for an answer. They, they should, we offered five billion dollars for the freedom, right? The ransom, you two million ransom. dreamers. You were ready to five, pay the ransom. We're, we're, we're going to pay the ransom. Wait, it got better for them. You remember when all of the Democrats got together, including yeah. Bernie Sanders, 25 including billion. Elizabeth Warren? 25 billion. I remember the number. Because you know what? You cannot negotiate with them because what they right. want in the end is something that is unnegotiable, the destruction of our immigration system. They want to end immigration to yeah. the United States. And that is a step that we will never enter into. That's just a step we're not going to take. Congressman Luis Gutierrez, as always, thank you for being here. Thanks, Chris. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.